गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट दी एंजामेटिक ब्राउनिंग इन फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल्स सो द एंजामेटिक ब्राउनिंग इज अ केमिकल प्रोसेस विच ऑकर्स इन फ्रूट्स एंड वेजिटेबल बाय द एंजाइम पॉलीफिनॉल ऑक्सीडेज विच रिजल्ट इन द ब्राउन पिगमेंट सो द पॉलीफिनॉल ऑक्सीडेज एक्ट एज अ कैटलिस्ट टू स्पीड अप दिस प्रोसेस विच कैन ऑकर rapidly at warm temperature when the ph is between pi to 7 the polyphenol oxidase is a copper containing enzymes that catalyze the uh, oxidation of phenol compounds continued uh, contained in the plant tissue so in food browning is considered desirable like honey chocolate brown crust of baked products while in other food it is detrimental as in darkening of dehydrated fruits and vegetables here is the two types of reaction one is enzymatic browning and the non enzymatic browning polyphenol is a main component in enzymatic browning it is also called as phenolic compound or the group of chemical substances the substances the substrate for the browning enzyme phenolic compounds are responsible for the color taste and the flavor the polyphenol can be divided into anthocyanin that is color in fruits and flavonoids that is catechin tannin in tea, tea and wine enzymatic browning is common in fruits like apple pear peaches apricot and the banana and vegetables like potato lettuce and brinjal cereals like wheat flour and the rice flour then seafoods like shrimps spiny lobster and the crabs so when fruits and vegetable tissues are exposed to the oxygen its color become brown such oxygen exposure occurs when the peeling cutting brushing of the fruits and vegetables is carried out the additionally using copper or the iron pan a uh, length of exposure to air and the humidity increases this browning process so here is some picture which shows the browning reaction in fruits and the vegetables the apple and the banana uh, then which veg in vegetables uh, the brinjal and potato shows this browning reaction the main cause of enzymatic browning by which the oxidation of phenolic substance occurs during the handling ripening storage and processing of the fruits and the vegetables advantages of this browning reaction it is known that the final product melanin has the antimicrobial properties which prevents any infection and inflammation to the plants or the fruits the melanin also has antibacterial antioxidants and the anti cancer properties the enzymatic browning in some food is beneficial because it increases the color and the flavor like in coca tea coffee resins and the uh, prunes so disadvantages uh, nutritional qualities then sensory qualities like bad color development bad odor development and the flavor then unappealing unappealing to the consumer and also having the less shelf life so how this uh, enzymatic browning is prevented Uh, so blanching is one step to prevent the browning temperature between 70 degrees celsius and 100 degrees celsius it has again two step the blanching in steam and the microwave blanching then refrigeration uh, also prevent the spoilage of fruits and the vegetables uh, if the temperature is below 7 degrees celsius then freezing is one of technique which stop the browning reaction in fruits then freezing causes the decrease in available water for enzyme enzymatic reaction the next step is the change in ph by lowering the ph to 4 by addition of citric acid and ascorbic acid which is present in lemon juice 